Hey everyone, this is Ash from the Triple S League. We've spent the weekend playing the beta version of Tom Clancy's The Division, and uh, we're going to be sharing a few tidbits from that experience. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to customize your weapon by painting it or changing its color. In my mods inventory, I have this can of orange spray paint that I picked up as a random loot drop after an encounter. Now, these are actually pretty rare, at least in the beta they are. Cybe played about twice as many hours as I did, and he never saw one. And in all the time that I've played, I've only seen the one. But if you happen to find one, you can select your weapon and go into the modding screen. And you have this slot for uh, customizing the, the uh, exterior appearance. You just equip it like any other mod. And now you can see I've swapped out that tired old wood grain look for this bright orange paint, which kicks so much ass. So one final thing, these paint mods are reusable, just like any other mod. You can unequip it from your weapon, and it goes back into your inventory, and then you can use it on another weapon if you like, or sell it, or whatever you want to do. To me, this doesn't make much sense from an immersion standpoint, so we're wondering if this is something that's going to get patched out in the full version of the game. But if not, you've got completely reusable paint that you can use over and over again. So if it's time to upgrade your weapon but you've got it painted a really nice color that you don't want to lose, well, you can transfer that to your new weapon and uh, just carry on like that. So there you go. Hope this helps. And I'll be back soon with more content from Tom Clancy's The Division Beta. Thanks so much for watching our video. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed it. Those things help us out a lot. Also, check out some of our other content. In our mod review series, we did an interview with Caliente, one of the leading Skyrim modders, about her new work for Fallout 4. We also have a guide to Fallout 4's most peaceful ending and a series on how to make lore-friendly Nuka-Cola.